Hello, my name is Robert Brill. I'm a doctoral candidate in health psychology, and this is my fibromyalgia podcast series. Today I'd like to discuss what can attitude do for your illness. I was just thinking where I'd be today without the will to be well and a strong attitude. A few years ago, I allowed my illness to defeat me, and I found that I surrendered to it almost completely. And I began to withdraw from life one activity at a time. With that withdrawal, I began to experience the loss associated with chronic illness, most of which I was in control of but didn't really realize it at the time. After much soul searching and years of introspection, I decided it was time to adjust my attitude and to rejoin my life and begin moving forward again. I loaded my schedule up with wishes and desires, which slowly turned into positive actions that I knew would translate into positive habits that would promote my wellness. I decided to no longer be the victim and began making and keeping commitments. I decided it was time to start making promises again, which for a long time I couldn't keep. I committed to an exercise program which some days would break me and other days it would make me stronger. I began to eat correctly and this made a difference in my symptoms. I slowly began to see what, with the right attitude and the will to beat my illness, I could make positive gains which raised the dark cloud just a little bit at a time. I realized that I needed to make significant changes in my life in order to rejoin my life. So I decided to get a PhD in psychology so that I could continue to work and not be a drain on society, and also so that I could pay it forward where possible by helping others with chronic disease. I volunteered with an organization called HOPE, dedicated to advancing fibromyalgia, which gave me some purpose and allowed me to promote fibromyalgia awareness and to work with a world-renowned fibromyalgia author, Dr. Sharon Ostalecki. I author a fibromyalgia blog called Fibro Bulletin, where I offer high-quality information on living and coping with disease. I authored a book, Reversing Fibromyalgia, which discusses all of my philosophies on how to live again with diseases like fibromyalgia. Essentially, I got my attitude right, and then I got my life back. Consider this. What has been the most important in my path to wellness has been attitude. What can you achieve with the right attitude?